Hi, my name is Jace Marino, and I am the Microsoft Teams platform lead. And today I'm here to talk to you about what is the Teams platform, what's available for our developer community, and how you can go ahead and get started. So with that, forgive me here for a second, because I know this is a bit cliche to start with a quote, but this one's really powerful, and it's one that I love. And it came from our CEO, Satya Nadella. And he says, you join here not to be cool, but to make others cool. And the reason I love this quote is because it really has so many applicable purposes. And one is to the broader community that we have here. When he says you join here, I think he's talking to not just our Microsoft employees, but also to our partner and our customer community. For those of us who are working together relentlessly to build solutions to help people get their jobs done better. But very literally what Satya is also saying is that at our core, Microsoft is a platform company. And core to a great platform are yourselves, the developer community, excuse me, that builds on top of it. And the reason this platform is so important because it helps us stay agile in the face of this modern workplace Microsoft often is talking about. And we've been listening to you, to our customers, to our partners for the last few years. And a couple of years ago, we launched a product to meet these modern workplace needs and to build a platform that was truly meant for developers like yourselves to build on top of it and that was Microsoft Teams. And so again, today we're gonna to talk about the ability to customize and extend as we look at the platform capabilities inside of Microsoft Teams. So very simply, when we talk about the platform, let me show you here what we mean. Because I look at this in three different layers. And the first layer that you see here as part of the Teams platform is the integration of the Office 365 applications that our customers and partners know and love and use every single day to get their jobs done. But we also know that you need more tools sometimes to get your job done at work. And productivity is not just limited to Microsoft tools. So we also have a huge partner ecosystem of over 250 partners today available publicly for all Teams users inside of the Teams store. Now, just to clarify here, these first two pillars here, the Office 365 applications and the third-party applications that we're working with and growing, those are available out of the box, so to speak, for users on day one. So you download Teams and these are available for you. Now, where we're seeing great opportunity and a lot of our customers driving broad at Teams adoption working hand in hand with our developer community is how do you then also take the tools that your organization built that your employees need as services and to get their jobs done every day how do you take those tools and integrate them into teams and extend the capabilities inside of teams and so when you see when you bring all those together you create this amazing modern workplace that really makes your apps work for you so let me show you what that looks like here before we do that though let's talk about why you might want to build for teams now, more than likely, you've seen us in the news quite a bit recently over the past two years, but our, pro our progress has been undeniable. We're the fastest growing business app in Microsoft's history. Not to mention, when you build for Microsoft Teams, you have access to over 155 million active Office 365 users. We have over 420,000 organizations using Teams today, and we now have almost 90% of the Fortune 100 leveraging Microsoft Teams. So a great opportunity to extend your reach. And that's actually the first pillar that I see here and the real value of why you should build for Teams is that extended commercial reach that you have and the opportunity to grow with Teams. But most importantly, if you're a developer here, focus on these two columns. That's the integration and the modernize and mobilize. So obviously, we give you the tools to build or integrate your existing application or service within Teams. And I'll share with you the document documentation to do so here at the end. But most importantly, if there's one thing you take away from this presentation today, it's that you have the ability to not only integrate your tools or services or the ones that you will build into Teams, but you can extend the functionality and the value of your tools and services by building them into Teams. Let me show you what that looks like here. So let's take your application or service. Again, this can be something that you built or something that you're looking to build in the future. But when you build four teams, we have an extensible platform that literally means you can extend the capabilities inside of teams. So you can see you can leverage our tab functionality, our connectors, our adaptive cards, our bots, our messaging extensions, or our notifications. And we have more to available today as well now. But let me make this real. Let's take Trello. Everyone's familiar with Trello, right? One of the, one of the biggest project management tools on the planet built by Atlassian. And in its purest form, when Trello actually built their integration into Microsoft Teams, if you look over on the far right there, they launched as a tab. And that shows Trello's beautiful rendering of their project management tool. But they also can render in other ways inside of Teams. They built a bot integration there, if you look at the middle column. 
And this is actually a screenshot from my team's environment where I'm having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with the Trello bot, allowing me to easy, more easily navigate to projects and cards that I'm looking for inside of Trello, inside of Teams. And then even better, Trello's also launched connectors with us. So now when I have updates to projects that I'm a part of, new projects are um, issued, new cards are added to a project board, I get a notification inside of a Teams channel and I can respond from within inside that Teams channel and start a conversation around the actual project itself. So very powerful way again of Trello to becoming more than what they were outside of Teams inside of the application that we have here and the way they render. So at this point, hopefully you're excited to get started, but I often get this question now is where do we start? Because there are an infinite number of places that you could and we have so much potential with the Teams platform. And so the advice that I usually give customers and partners is actually the first thing you should do is start simple. We've seen the most successful customers around the world with their team's implementations and their team's development is starting in a couple areas, but first they ask themselves, what tools do our employees need every day to get their work done? Now, again, this isn't just Microsoft tools and this isn't just productivity applications. Think about the tools you need inside of your organization as well. How do you report time off, vacations and holidays, uh, HR tools and services, IT support, you know, the, the possibilities are infinite. But I look at this in three different layers. And the first is, as we mentioned earlier, which Microsoft applications do you need to get done, you get your work done? Those are already integrated into Office 365 and to, in, into Teams, of course. So those are out of the box available for you on day one. The second piece is what other applications from our partners do you need to get your work done? And here are a couple of our, our most featured applications, but we have over 250 sitting in the team store today. So when you look at these two, where do you have overlap in your organization that you can start leveraging in teams today? So you can start having conversations around these projects that you're working on. And then finally, where it gets real fun and interesting, particularly for our developer community, is how do you then take those organizational apps that we mentioned earlier and start building those processes and integrations into Microsoft Teams? Now, what I have here on the far right column are the four most common themes that we're seeing around our customers who have started building their applications into Teams. And that's those departmental tools, their employee resources, so think HR here and a lot of the resources you have that I mentioned earlier, support and information, particularly around how do you access information from internal internet sites and how do you get better um, and more instantaneous IT support. And then most importantly, how do you bring all of this together? Because while an integration into Teams is great, creating the processes and workflows in between these integrations are where we actually deliver the real power. Okay. So now, so you know that this isn't just future looking, I wanna show you some examples of what we've done at Microsoft and what this looks like inside of our organization and how our developers and engineers are leveraging the platform today to help us get our jobs done better. So what you're about to see are a couple of screenshots from my team's environment on how I, as a global product manager from Microsoft, get my job better, done better every single day because of Microsoft Teams and the platform integration that I have. So when I started thinking about where to start here, I thought, okay, what do I need to get done every day as an employee of Microsoft, every week, every month, every year? But the first thing that came to my mind is actually as a human being, I need sustenance. I have to eat every day. And now when you work for Microsoft, our campus is huge. You know, if you come to Seattle, we have over 110 buildings sitting on the Redmond campus alone. And as you can imagine, we have a bunch of different cafes to choose from. So much so that we actually created an internal SharePoint site that you see here from our research or from our uh, real estate and facilities team, where they actually list all the cafes that are available for you. Now this place is pretty good. It gives you a good amount of information, but it requires quite a bit of search on my end if I wanna find you know, the cafe that's closest to me that has the menu that I'm looking for. Now fast forward to Teams, and our engineering team have now built an integration called the Cafe and Dining Dev Bot. Now what you're seeing right here is an interaction that I'll walk you through in a moment that I had with this Cafe Dining and Dev Bot that they connected into the SharePoint site. So I can now interact in natural language with that same service. So in this scenario, what I did is I asked the Cafe and Dining Dev Bot, where's the nearest cafe? And you see it says that the cafe at Bravern was the closest one to me. Now I actually work in the Bravern building in Bellevue, so I know this is right. But even better than, it actually shows me what's on the menu for that day at Bravern. So you can see here, full menu, I can get directions, I can order now, and I can save this as a favorite. Now, as a developer and as a technical professional, likely most of us can figure out how to use these on a day-to-day -day basis. But for the end user who might not know how to interact with the bot in the first place, we also offer this menu here at the bottom. 
And so when I hit that menu, it tells me what I can do and it gives me a bunch of different options to actually interact with the bot in a more seamless and simple way. And what I thought was great was I learned something new when I was interacting with the cafe and dining dev bot is I use my employee badge every day to buy food when I go on campus. And so I didn't know this, but I usually had to go to a different internal internet website. But now I can interact and find out what my meal card balance is right inside this bot. So in this scenario, I hit meal card balance. As you can see, it shows up in the chat history and it shows me that I've got enough money to pay for my lunch for the day. So really simple and easy way for me to save time and get the information that I need without having to bounce around outside of the application and across a bunch of internal internet sites. All right, so as a global product manager for Microsoft, you can imagine I also need to stay on top of our social media sentiment from our customers, from our partners, and from the broader global market. And so what I've done here that you're looking at is inside of one of my teams, I've actually built a Twitter connection. And very simply, what this allows me to do is follow certain handles and certain hashtags, and I can pick the intervals of time when I want to get updates for what we're seeing in Twitter around those hashtags and, and social media handles that I've chosen. But even better, inside of this Teams channel, I can also interact on Twitter. So I can like, I can retweet, or I can actually go pop into Twitter as you see there. And then to take that one step further, I can now start having a conversation here. So if I hit reply, I can add in my peers to start having a conversation around what's going on. So incredible way for me to actually funnel in customer information and market information and start having conversations around it inside of Teams. And then so, as you can imagine, being at Corp uh, and Microsoft in Seattle is we have a lot of customers that fly out to Seattle to come to our executive briefing building. And it's this beautiful building we have on campus. And so because I work in our Bellevue office, which isn't directly on campus, I need to travel to these executive briefings when I'm presenting. Now, again, because we have such a large campus, not only do we have a bunch of cafes, we also have a shuttle service that takes you in between buildings. Now, before we integrated this into Teams, you're seeing again here, you're gonna see a theme, is that we had a separate SharePoint site built from our real estate and facilities team where I could go on and I could book a shuttle or I could ask my local uh, business admin to help me book a shuttle when I was going to a different office. Fast forward to Teams, our engineering team once again has struck gold here and they built an integration into this intranet site called the MS Transportation Bot. And again, this is a real interaction that I had with the MS Transportation Bot where I said I wanted to book a shuttle. It asked me here where I'd like to go and then I type in the building number, which was one. Now notice the next interaction that we had here is that it shows my pickup location, which I never entered into this chat because location services are turned on here. So really simple example of me saving time and how powerful this interaction would be. So at this point I said, yes, I wanted to book the shuttle. It tells me I'm all set. And then you'll notice I get an almost Uber or Lyft like screenshot here that shows me what the shuttle number is that's coming to pick me up, the estimated time, and I can refresh the trip to actually track the status of the shuttle that's coming my way. So great experience that's very similar to the way that we're interacting with applications in our personal lives as well. Now, on another note, every month I'm working on building this community. And so now we actually just launched that we're going to be sponsoring and supporting Teams platform meetups around the world. And what you're seeing right now is a Microsoft form that I built. And it's a really simple form for submission for those who are interested in hosting a platform meetup for Teams in their local city. Now, the reason I show this is because what I had to do before I built an integration into Teams is I had to go in and check my forms from time to time to see if anybody had submitted a, uh, a form of interest. Or I could set this up to give myself emails, but I don't want to track it either one of those ways. I want proactive information and for it to reach out to me proactively when I get a, um, a submission of interest. And so what I've done inside of Teams here is I've actually using Power Apps inside of one of my Teams channels here, you're looking at a Teams tab that I built. And this tab actually has an, uh, using Power Apps has an integration into Microsoft Forms. And what I just highlighted there is I built this integration to notify me anytime a new response is submitted on these Microsoft Forms. And just so you know, I'm not BSing here. This is actually showing you the previous three that I just got at this time when I took the screenshot. And I can't show you who, re who responded on here to save uh, personally identifiable information, but a real simple way for me to do this. Now, I'm not a developer. So I can imagine what you could build here would be amazing to share with the world. But this was a very simple way for me to streamline some of my projects that I'm working on every single day. And then finally, the last one I'll leave you with here is sometimes I need some tech support, as much as I hate to admit that. So we also have a service called Connect Me here that goes right into our Microsoft help desk. So again, real example here, in this service, normally I would have gone to an internal site but now or called into a hotline actually, but now I can just say create ticket, 
the connect me service asked me to describe my problem that I'm having. And I just said here, in this case, my VPN wasn't working. I was in a remote uh, site at this point. And so long story short, they confirmed the ticket. And just again, so I can prove to you that this is real, here's a screenshot from Ashish inside of our corporation who works for the help desk reaching out to me. Now, cool thing to note here, you can see under her name is that she's actually giving me a shout on Skype for Business. And because we have the Federation with Microsoft Teams, I actually got that message inside of Teams. I told her the ticket was fine, everything was sorted, and we're good to go. But as you can see, a real simple way to work on this support. Now, for clarity, a lot of organizations we're working with today are actually working on how do they have more proactive support approaches. So not only do I can I have a simpler way of reaching out to IT, IT will reach out to me when I have an issue through Teams. So some great opportunity there for our developer community. So a couple quick points of clarity that I want to make here after you've seen all those demo examples here. And the first is that while there is incredible opportunity for our developer community to build amazing things for their organizations and for the world, you also don't have to be a developer to build something for teams. If you look at this screenshot right here, this is actually a bot that I call FAQ that I built for myself. Now, to clarify, I'm not a developer. I've never written a line of code in my life, and I built this for teams. And what this is actually is a way for me to connect into our frequently asked questions that we have on an internal site inside Microsoft. So when I'm in those executive briefings that I mentioned earlier, and I can't possibly remember the answer to all the questions that I get from customers around Teams, I can simply ask this bot to get those answers quickly. And again, you're looking at a bunch of examples here of when I've actually asked it questions. But most importantly, while I think separate bots for separate use cases, like you saw earlier with the shuttle bot, with the cafe and dining, um, and the other examples that I shared are great places to start, I would think bigger. Our best customers are thinking about how do we integrate all of these services into one single enterprise bot? And so I thought up this example here, what if I brought together those scenarios that you saw earlier in a bot interaction that I have with, let's call it the Microsoft Assistant here. So in that same scenario, I ask it, where's the nearest cafe? The Microsoft Assistant comes back to me and shows me that the closest cafe is in Braeburn. But this time, let's say that I didn't have that money on my meal card it actually or proactively notifies me that my balance is below $10 and sends me a hyperlink right there to order to add more funds to my card so I can pay for my lunch. It's a really simple example there. Let's take it to the next day though. Now let's go back to, let's say I have an executive briefing and the Microsoft Assistant, which is connected to my calendar, knows that one of my meetings starts soon in another building because it's tied to my location services. And it asks me if I want to order a shuttle. And I say yes. And then it just confirms that it's in the same meeting. So building one, same scenario here. And then I confirm that it's the same place and then it books the shuttle for me. Now it also knows that I've got a presentation that I've loaded into this meeting and it asks if it wants me to open that presentation so I have it ready to go when I get there. And when I say yes, what you'll see here is it could either pop up inside of a PowerPoint presentation or it could actually pull up inside of my Teams environment. And what you're looking at right here is a tab that I have available where I've connected a PowerPoint presentation that I often will share with customers inside of these executive briefings. So the possibilities here are endless. Hopefully this got your mind working and, uh, and moving towards what we could build inside of Teams together. Okay, so what I'll leave you with here is what's next? Where do you get started if, you like to, if you'd like to develop on Teams? And the first place is, this is our main landing page, our Teams Dev Center. And I've created a short aka.ms link for, there, for you up there. But this will be your main source to go get the documentation and sources that you need in order to start building for Microsoft Teams. Now, once you start building and once you have some great stories, we'd love to share those with the world. Here, I've started a, a blade on the Teams page here called Teams on Teams. And we've already started sharing stories of some of our best customers and partners and how they're delivering integrations inside of Teams that are making people get their work done better or rather helping people get their work done better. So please let us know. I've included my Twitter handle and my LinkedIn profile there. I'd be more than happy for you to reach out to me and let me know. And then finally here, should you wanna start your own Teams platform meetup, we'd love to support you from Microsoft. We've got a whole system in place now where you can go on meetup.com and actually start your Microsoft Teams platform meetup in your city. And we'll give you swag, We'll give you guidance, we'll give you marketing support, and we'll make sure that you have a local Microsoft technical expert there to support your needs. So again, my Twitter handle at the bottom left and my LinkedIn profile name on the bottom right, please reach out to me should you be interested. We'd love to support you and your community to help build this. So once again, my name is Jace Marino. I'm the Teams platform lead from Microsoft. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope this got your brain working and I hope you're as excited as we are for all of the potential capabilities that we can build inside of Teams together. Please give me a shout if there's anything you need. Thank you.